So step four is to add text and, you know, or a logo if that applies to you as well, right? So if you already have your personal brand, then that's great. You can see I've drug, drug mine over a little bit. Um, you know, it's a little bit more to the middle. I'm going to add the text up here a little bit. It's kind of, I think it'll kind of look a little bit better. Now, if you don't have this, then just add a logo or another picture and text originally. And you'll also want to focus a little bit more on the background image. Now, if you do have yourself and you are putting yourself and text in the image, then obviously you just want a theme in your background image because the main theme is going to be your personal brand, what the topic is, and then just, you know, an attention grabbing text overlay. Okay. So you want to add text and position it accordingly, and that's important, okay? Then you want to bring that text to life and, you know, to the forefront, okay? Now, I recommend adding a rectangle background. I'll show you how to actually do that here in a second so that the text is clear to see and then bringing it to life. Now, you don't need to add a rectangle background. You can just add the, uh, the same, like, let's hypothetically say... I'll show you what to do. So let's go over the text. And I said, for example, this is going to be like a travel photography thumbnail. So let's just say like travel photography. And then I'm going to hit this thing so I can move it around and adjust it. And we'll just make it like a little bit bigger right here. Let's make it a little bigger and I'll drag my photo over slightly. And obviously you can just click things and move them around accordingly. Just make sure that you have this right here, the drag tool and the move tool selected. So I'm gonna move it like right here and I'll make this a little bit lower, okay? So travel photography, now I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna copy it by uh, clicking Control. Uh, see, you can also right click and copy as well if you wanna do that way. And I'm gonna paste it by clicking Control V. So Control C, Control C, Control V, and then it's gonna paste that because I want the same formatting and I'm gonna say made simple, okay? So I'm just adding text here. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can obviously hit the text over here and change the font of the text if you want to go that way. And the way that you can do that is basically over here with your characters, change the font, change the weight, change the size, change the color. Pretty, you know, pretty, pretty commonsensical right here. That's how you're going to adjust that. Now I'm going to drag this right here. I'm going to add two different boxes around these because like I said, I want to add boxes in the background so that it makes it really, really easy to set, to see. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can simply right click on the text and same thing as before, right? You can go to the blending options and you can add like a drop shadow or an outer glow or something like that. Sometimes that looks good on certain backgrounds. I don't always do that. Now, obviously it's going to depend on the color of the outer glow that you choose. So if you click outer glow, like I said, you can move, adjust the noise and make it bigger. Like I said, once you click on it, you can also adjust like the size and the spread of that. So I'm going to undo that and undo that because I don't want to move that. But if you wanted to change the color here, then you could go to like red, right? Boom. Now it's red. If you want to make it yellow, if you want to make it red, if you want to make it light blue, you get the picture, right? I don't think that that looks very, very good. So I don't do that on most things. I don't outer glow my text and I don't add drop shadow on my text, although you can add drop shadow and outer glow if you want to go that route and you don't want to add the boxes. So I'm going to cancel this. What I actually like to do a lot of times is I'll move this down slightly is I like to add a box, you know, and a background rectangle to the text so it's clear to see and it brings it to life, okay? Now, I also recommend keeping the text in your thumbnails super minimal, okay? You don't want to have like a long sentence or a paragraph. I see this all the time, and I've made this mistake countless times as well, right? I've found that if you keep the thumbnail text super minimal, maybe three to seven words max, okay? Preferably on the lower side of that towards three or four, right? You can see there's literally four, to, uh, you know, words here on this one. Okay, you want the text to be super easy to read and get right to the point because remember, people are scanning images quickly, especially thumbnails. So sometimes I'll also add a logo too if that's relevant, especially in course thumbnails specifically. I also recommend that you add a shadow effect to this too if you do add it. And sometimes it looks good if you also add, you know, color light effects to it as well, like I showed you previously. But I don't always do that on the logo um, or the text. What I like to do is I'll make a box. So I'm going to go up to the rectangular mark. Eh, rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to hit that and I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle around the box. Now, sometimes I'll go, I'll draw a big rectangle and sometimes I'll draw like a super close rectangle. I've played around with both of them and it really kind of just depends on the, on the way that the thumbnail looks. Sometimes I'll get like, you know, in a kind of a, a groove of doing a big one. Sometimes I'll get kind of in a groove of doing a small one. This is probably a little too close. So I'm going to do another one, just a little bit bigger right here and we're gonna make that box, okay? Now that we've drawn the rectangle around it, we wanna cut that out and turn the background black or white 
depending on you know what color you have the text. I like going to the white text. You don't have to do that, although I think it makes it look really good. So I'm going to right click on that on that in between that rectangle and I'm going to click new layer to make this a new layer. You can name the new layer rectangle one, two, whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it as layer two. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm also going to right click again and I'm going to fill it this time with a black coloring. Okay, now you can add a color. You can also turn it white or 50% gray. I like to keep it black, darkened, and 100% opacity, uh, opacity, excuse me, so that it turns it black, okay? But now I need to come over on the timeline here and I need to, you know, adjust that, okay? So I'm gonna move the layers up above this. So I need, excuse me, I need the travel photography and made simple above that. And now you see that the text comes in front of that. So I'm gonna click off of this now, and I'm gonna draw another one really fast right around Made Simple. And the same thing, right click, new layer, okay, right click, new let, or sorry, right click, fill, add it black, and then same thing. Now I'm gonna click off of it, and now I'm gonna go back to the move tool so I can adjust things. Now you might be saying that doesn't look that great, but what I like to do obviously is I'm gonna click on those layers right here, and I'm gonna go layer three, which is the black, and layer two, which is the black rectangle, and I'm gonna go to the blending adjustments. And I'm not gonna add the, the outer glow or the drop shadow to the text made simple or travel photography. I'm gonna add it to the background you know, rectangle because I think that that makes it look a lot better. So I'm gonna add outer glow and I'm gonna add drop shadow and I think that that's gonna look great, okay? So you can also play around with the color too. Like if I go back in and I right click and I select that again and go to blending options and I go to the outer glow and I click on that, just like I showed you before, you can obviously adjust the color, right? So you might think like, okay, let's try pink. That looks okay, but it looks a little strange. You can also go like light blue a little bit. That kind of looks pretty good. I kind of like that actually. Um, and then same thing with this one. I'm gonna go to the right here, layer two, blending adjustments. And now it should have that same thing formatted. So I'm gonna click outer glow and drop shadow and bam, hit okay. And now we have some popping text on it with a background that's clearly in front of the image. Same thing with me with a personal brand. You can obviously select these if you want to select everything and then drag them around as you want. Just make sure that you like drag select. You don't just click one or it'll just drag that, uh, that actual thing. So I'm gonna click out of this. I'm gonna undo that so it looks like that. And we'll move on to the final step in the process.